I owe a lot to Princeton University and the guidance that it provided me during my undergraduate years. Uh, specifically, I came knowing that I was interested in biology but was unsure of how that would play out in my life and my career. And I received some wonderful training and outstanding career advice from uh, faculty members here at Princeton. Uh, I can remember uh, something that I still use today in, in my own field that was told to me by one of my uh, Princeton biology professors, and he said, when you're thinking about a career, uh, particularly a career in the sciences or education, you need to think not only about what interests you today and what is interesting and hot today, but you need to plan a career for 30 or 40 years from now, uh, at a time when you'll be um, at the peak of your career. And as a 18-year-old, that seemed like a long way away, but it began a process of me thinking about a career um, and what I would do in my life after Princeton uh, from a much longer perspective than, than I had up until that time. Uh, the thing that I think I provide, I hope to provide to students tonight is one real simple message, and that is follow your passion. If you uh, can begin to identify those things that you really are passionate about, you will excel and success will come to you. And I think the most important part of the discovery process of which Princeton is a part is to find those things that excite you, those things that you believe that you can contribute in significant ways to change uh, the world. And that's really what I would encourage students to do. For me, it's an opportunity really to give back in a very tangible way to the university. Um, I so appreciate the guidance and the advice that I had from faculty as well as from others here at the university, um, including I was a, an athlete, I ran track, and even the advice that I received from my coaches all helped to shape me in some significant ways. And this is an opportunity for me to try and do the same to the next generation of Princetonians. Thank you.